We're in full bloom here on Try Thai tonight. Henry from Ising's Garden Center stops by to talk about growing backyard herbs, and Jean introduces some unique herbs used to make her spicy stir-fried fish. Plus, after five seasons of making this show, we managed to scrounge up maybe one or two bloopers for you to enjoy. Welcome to Try Thai tonight. We are Dean and Jean, your husband and wife tour guides across the exotic flavors of Thai cuisine. Welcome to the fifth season of Try Thai tonight. Wow, Jean, can you believe we've made it to season five? I can't believe it. And can you believe we're still married? And I can't believe it either. <laughs> well, this has been a lot of fun. What have you enjoyed most about making this show? I enjoy to share uh, Thai food. And then I like to see the people have a smile when they taste my food. A little hard to see that through television, but <laughs> we do get some fan mail for you, from you guys, and we really do appreciate it. You know, feel free to just write us on Facebook or whatever and let us know if we can help. Some people say, hey, you know, what about this ingredient? What about that? And Jean loves to solve those problems for people, don't you? Right. Right? Yeah. Well, we have got more fun things planned for this season. And of course, Jean is going to cook up a storm and teach you how to make more delicious, authentic Thai dishes right in your own home. But it's a new season, which means we're filming in a new location. Yay! For season five, we are coming to you from Ising Garden Center, located just outside of Simcoe, Ontario. Here, we're surrounded by lush vegetation. We've got lots of natural light. What do you think, Jean? Great. It's open. And then I can see all the flower and I can see all the herbs that I'm gonna use. You might use some of those herbs? I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> and as a bonus, what are you yeah, wearing? Yeah, I'm wearing Sassafras. Sassafras Boutique, which is located right here in Ising Garden Center. And they are providing the wardrobe for Jean today. Mm, I like it though. It's wonderful, looks very cute. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you gonna teach us to cook today, Jean? Uh, Pad Chai Bla Kha. Pad chai pla. 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 Ka. Okay, and that means stir fried spicy fish, right? Ka. Okay, ka, which means yes. Now, what type of fish are you going to cook with today? Uh, pickle. Pickle from Lake yeah, Erie. Right. Excellent. Okay, once again, our friends at Pleasant Port Fish Company have provided us with some very fresh local pickle from their catch yesterday. Now, back to the Thai name of this dish. What is it again? Pad. Chai pla ka. Pad chai. Pad chai means sizzling stir fry, right? Uh, and pla means fish. Yes. Right, got it. Okay. Now, this name is spot on because this is a dish that really sizzles with flavor. And it can be really spicy, which our producer Sarah can attest to. <laughs> During rehearsals, uh, she had to taste some of this and she found out real quick that it packs a lot of heat. I'm so sorry, Sarah. <laughs> so if you like spicy food, you know, stick around. This is a fantastic dish. Now, we're actually going to be using a couple of herbs and spices that we've never used before on the show, right? What are we using? Uh, green peppercorn and uh, finger root. Right. Green peppercorns and finger root add very unique flavors to this dish. And we're going to learn a little bit more about them later. But first, speaking of herbs and spices, let's get Henry the owner of Ising Garden Center, in to talk about growing your own herbs and spices. Henry, welcome. Swadika. Swadika. Yeah, I'm thrilled and honored to have you guys here. Uh, and you're looking great, Jean, in those oh, Sassy Frost you. Ladies Fashion Boutique clothing. Uh, yeah, we grow herbs at Ising's. I and see you're you, using them. I know. I see you brought a few here. What have you got? Yeah, well, of course, Jean, I brought Thai basil. Oh. I know you like that stuff. <laughs> and uh, I brought some lemongrass because you're going to be talking about oh. kaffir lime leaves. Yes. But if you don't have any, they're hard to come by, you can use lemongrass. So Good substitute. Yeah. Do you sell uh, kaffir lime leaves? We sell them uh, usually by the end of April. They're all sold out. Because really? They're, they're grown in Florida. We bring them in, and when they're gone, they're gone. We have to Aww. wait again until next year. They're that popular? Yes, yes. Well, it's a thing to grow patio citrus plants now and grow your own fruit. So. I need those. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta get here early, I guess. Yes. So we were talking a little bit before the show about uh, how Canadians use sort of the fruit or the, the skin. Yeah, the Canadians, I think we only know how to use the fruit and maybe the skin in Canada, but I'm really interested to learn, Gene, how you use the leaves because I've never been asked about the leaves before. So Ooh. yeah, very neat. So do you have any tips for people that are growing, say, exotic or foreign herbs at home? Well, so you can come in March already and we start selling herbs then and you can put them uh, on your windowsill in your kitchen and start using them then. Uh, but of course you can't plant them out in the garden because they are tropical right. uh, until the last chance of frost, so in May. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you, you can grow them, them inside or? You can put them in containers and then put the container outside or if you want to put them in your windowsill, then you can plant them in the garden outside oh. after May 24th weekend. Can I plant in the winter inside the house? Yes, you can. Oh. So, but you need bright light. You, oh. So herbs need sunshine. So right. a bright windowsill is the best. Well, let's talk about this finger root. I want to show you this. This is what we'll be working with today. Now here's the finger root, Henry. Have you ever seen that before? Well, I've never had uh, a customer at Ising's ask me for finger root. So I'm hoping that after they watch this episode uh, of cooking this with this and uh, tasting how delicious it is that I'm going to have customers asking me for it. Uh, the closest that we have at Ising's is ginger, which is sold more as an ornamental plant. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for giving this to me, Jean, because oh, I'm going to grow it and give it a try. <laughs> you're welcome. And it'd be great to have a local uh, supplier of it because she has to go to the city to get it. Yes. So uh, know we you can can't get it buy here. it anywhere here in Norfolk County, I don't think. Yeah, so I give that to you. We're going to have that around here. Thank you. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> so that means you're going to stick around to taste the dish? For sure. You can I would handle love the to. You can handle the spice? I can take it. All right, perfect. All right, Henry, thank you so much for having us in, hosting us, and being a guest on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are gonna get cooking, but first we're gonna take a short break. In the meantime, why don't you head over to our website to download Gene's recipe for spicy stir-fried fish, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Try Thai tonight. This is the first episode of our fifth season, and it has been an incredible edible journey. You cooked a lot of food on this show, Jean, haven't you? Yes. Do you remember all the dishes that you taught us to make? Not all of them. Ah, but yeah. some? Yes, just some. Okay, yes. well, let me refresh your memory. I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic, so why don't we take a look back at some of the amazing Thai dishes Jean has taught us to make over the past four seasons along with maybe some uh, funny highlights. Swadika. Today we are sharing... Uh, uh, okay. okay. Uh, now what are we making today, Jean? Today we're making salad Thai salads. No, we're oh, no, not. No, no, no. Swadika. No, you're right. <laughs> So Janine. <laughs> oh, no. And then uh, at the... Uh, Sugar. Because frankly, you can't win set. Oh! Hey, Jean, how do you say oxymoron in Thai? Oh, oxymoron. <laughs> Jean is just about to show us how to prepare her 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 I'm just gonna stick to the script. How about I do that? How many recipes does this people make? Six to eight people. No, no I was totally wrong. <laughs> Jean is going to show us how to make some fast food Thai style. Yes, and I, oh, yes, and this Thai fast food is, is, is it, wait, wait, wait. Jean is just about to start preparing two vegetable dishes, uh, stir-fried morning glory and stir-fried chicken. Mmm. <laughs> Look at your face, you're just like. <laughs> And then Jean is going to show us how to make stir-fried chicken broccoli with crispy chicken. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yes, and this Thai food. Ah. Oh. All right. In the meantime, be sure to visit. And why are you still standing here? You've got to go do the fried rice. You've got to go steam the rice. Ah. In the meantime, we're going to take a quick break. Wait. And, okay. Wait. We got to do it again. Wait. 
I forget my rice. <laughs> so a little background on Jean and myself. We are in fact husband and wife. <laughs> was it too much when I tried to kiss her? Okay, Leo was just. <laughs> Surprise him. Uh, we better do that one more time. That was a mess. It was a train wreck. <laughs> well, that was fun, wasn't it? Yes, uh, but embarrassing. Embarrassing. You have all the best jokes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, let's get going with the dish Jean is going to teach us today, which is. Uh, pad chai blanc which is spicy stir-fried fish. So let's quickly go through the ingredients. Obviously, we have our fish here. Yes, this is a fish uh, pickle. Fresh pickerel from Lake Erie, courtesy of our friends at the Pleasant Port Fish Company. Yeah. The rest of our ingredients are pretty standard for a lot of the cooking that you do here, you know, oyster sauce, soy sauce, fish sauce. But I want to talk a little bit about this one. So this one is the uh, green peppercorn. Right. Yes. Very important for this dish. Yes. Very unique flavor. Yes. Now this peppercorn is fresh, but then it's put into a brine to preserve it so that it doesn't dry out. And uh, you're gonna add it to the dish just like this. Yes. What have we got here? Uh, we got say uh, basil. Thai, Thai basil. basil, yep. And couple lamb leaf. This is what Henry was talking about. Yes. This is uh, something that North Americans, you know, we normally use the fruit, but in Thai cooking, you use a lot of the leaves. Yeah gonna use that today and then aha and this is a finger root pretty appropriate name considering it looks yeah. like a finger yeah right they do and it's from the uh, galangal and ginger family and it is uh, really considered a medicinal herb in, in China and Southeast uh, Asia uh, particularly for men's health so we'll just let you fill in the blanks on that one there and uh, we'll see what happens after the tasting later on today at the end of the show yeah. Right? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's get cooking. What is the first thing we need to do today, Jean? So we can cut the uh, fish. All right, let's mm -hmm. get started. Cutting up our fresh pickerel, okay. How are you gonna do it? Yeah. So we just uh, buy from the already cutting. Okay. So we don't have to do a lot of work today. So you can. Uh, we're gonna use the uh, skin. We're gonna keep the skin on. Yeah, we're gonna keep right. the skin on. Okay, too. very important. So uh, I'm gonna uh, slice it so, uh, small and do it like this. Okay. This side yep. for a bite. Right? Almost like a sashimi, how you cut up a sashimi. Yeah. Like that. Right? Yep. Now you wanna mm -hmm. do bite size because in Thai food, you, you don't have a knife, right? You eat with right. a fork and a spoon. So. There's no cutting up of anything, so when you prep the meal, you want everything in bite-sized pieces. Mm. Uh, too, too, too thick, too thick. Back it up a little bit. <laughs> great, so there's our fish. Look at that, that looks great. Nice, eh? Yeah, beautiful. Right. So next is gonna be uh, finger roots. Finger root. That's, yeah. How do we prepare cut. that? Show me so how to cut that. So the finger roots, so you're gonna take the, uh, I don't know what you call stem. <laughs> yep, stem, yep, the top stem. of it, the tip. The top, the head. right? The head, and you just take it out. I'm already clean this, I'm yeah. already washed. Now how are you gonna slice these? Okay. Some people yeah. like to take their skin off, but it hurt. I don't yeah, wanna peel it so. and then get nothing in there. There's not much to this, <laughs> that's right, yeah. I know, yeah. So I'm gonna slice this very careful, a uh, small. Very thin like this. So this one is very good for you. You can make a tea. Oh, you can make a tea. tea. Yeah, every morning. And then would you mind please the, uh, just take the uh, cup of lamb leaf. Yep. I remember how to do that from me, the previous please. episode. We're gonna devein yeah. these, right? That's what we call that. Yes. How do you want to do this? So just say uh, pick the leaf for me, please. Okay. I need the leaf. And you can put it in here. Okay. Thank you. Mm, oh, this smells so good. And of course, you're gonna get more spice because, aha, look what I found here in the dish. <laughs> Classic oh, Thai good. chili. <laughs> Ready? There you go. Thai basil, kaffir lime leaves, finger root, you wanna put that in there? Okay, we've got one more thing to do here before we can start putting our dish together. What's next? So next, we're gonna uh, get a uh, chili. Yep. Uh, 
pot. Hot one. Very spicy. One. You're not even cutting it up. You're just throwing it in there. And yeah, you're gonna... just throw. I'm going to pound. Okay. And then with a garlic. Yep. So, I'm oh, put three it all cloves. Inside. And go. Okay. So, and then I'm going to add the red no, curry so paste. Red curry paste. Okay, and it's that together. You're going to smell good. Oh, I can smell it already. There you go. Really want to encourage you to invest in a mortar and pestle. Oh, look at that. It's got a couple of hits in there. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Right. Look at that color. That looks awesome. Okay. What's next? So next we're going to uh, cook the rice. All right. Jean's going to start the jasmine rice steaming and uh, that'll give us time to take a quick break before we start frying up our spicy stir fried fish. And that'll give you a chance to head over to our website where you can download the recipe for Jean's spicy stir fried fish. And we'll see you in just a moment. Welcome back to Try Thai tonight. Jean is just heating up her wok here with some oil, getting ready to start our spicy stir fried fish dish, which we'll be serving with steamed jasmine rice. Now, what kind of oil are you using for your deep fry? I use the uh, corn oil. Corn oil? Yeah. Of course, we're gonna be deep frying the fresh Lake Erie pickerel here that we have. How do you know when the oil is ready to use, that you're not putting it in and it's low temperature? Uh, this is a uh, way to see uh, our bubbles. Okay. A little bubble, or like a boiling a bit. And then you can also yeah. test with one piece, you could put it in. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. So now, we're just gonna straight ahead deep fry this. Yeah. Okay, okay. have at now, it. Four days. Then go all one by one, because I don't wanna pour the whole thing in. You don't wanna break okay. that fish. You no. don't want it to get mushy or deep fry together. Right. Yeah. You want it to look good as well as taste good. Just make sure uh, they're gonna turn like a, a brown color and then you can take them out. So basically what you're doing here is you're sort of, you're deep frying it, keep them kind of intact as pieces. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna stir fry it up. So right now is the deep fry. Right. And then when we complete the dish and the next thing it's the stir fry. Right. Right, with the sauce and everything. Okay. Okay, oh, well, that looks right. fantastic. Yeah. So this dish, is this something that your mom would make? Is this something you guys eat in your hometown or? My sister make it. Oh, does she? Yeah, my sister make it. That's the first time I eat and I like it. My sister say the finger root is very good for you. Yeah. And she explained to me the whole thing. And I said, wow, that's an interesting. And I eat the whole thing. <laughs> now, is this when your sister lived near the water, near the ocean or uh, when she was in your hometown? Daisy, uh, she lived near the water. Yeah. Like, and then they have a lot of seafood or a lot of fish. She cooks different kinds for me, yeah. different food. Yeah. Yes. So I like fish. I love fish more than meat. You know? Yeah. I don't know, maybe getting old. <laughs> really? I don't know. But I know where you grew up was Isan, that's in the Northeast, and so that's landlocked up there, so not a lot of seafood. Yeah. When you were growing up, you didn't eat a lot of fish, and your mom didn't cook a lot of fish, but then I know your sisters, they moved down to the Gulf of Thailand in Chonburi, right? Around that area. Right. Seafood everywhere, all kinds of fish. So you guys must have just gone crazy oh, for yeah. fish. Yes. Yeah. Seafood, shrimp, lobster. Oh, crap. Oh, man, you gotta do these little moves when you name them off. Yeah. There you go. All right, well, that's looking fish. great. But this is great, but still browner than that, right? Yeah. There you go, okay, look at that. That's it. Fish is done. We're mm -hmm. gonna switch out the woks now, right? And right. start our stir fry. Yes. Okay, we've got a fresh wok here, new oil that you've brought up to temperature, right? Yes. All right, what are we gonna do first for our stir fry? So the first, we're gonna add the oil, corn oil, and then the chili paste. This is the paste paint. that you made earlier, right? Yeah. It's got the chilies, the garlic, and the red curry paste yeah. in there. Okay, mm -hmm. so put we're gonna, that in uh, there. Put this in there. Yeah. Oh, now it's going to come alive with the aroma. Wow, you can really smell that. Even the crew is starting to wake right. up here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. They know. So, Nate, I'm going to add the uh, coconut oil in. Coconut milk. You want me to stir while you pour? Oh, yes, please. I can help you out. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Great. And I'm going to add a little bit more water in there. Just to 
thin it out a little bit or what? Mm -hmm. For a jute. Okay, the right? sauce. The sauce. Yeah. There's that creamy color you were saying you wanted to get with the coconut milk and the curry paste. Mm hmm. This is the, uh, the light soy that, sauce. Yeah. And I'm going to add a, a sugar. So I'm not going to add it all. Look. Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. Famous <laughs> last words of Jean. Now, why white sugar? And not palm sugar, which we use a lot on the show. Is it? You can use the palm sugar or white sugar, too. So okay. today I would like to use the uh, uh, white sugar. Just the way you're feeling. You woke up today and I said, no. I'm going to use white sugar. So today. this one that you use. <laughs> and okay. fish sauce. Mm -hmm. Got to have the fish sauce. Okay. A bit there. Okay. I know you would like to stir that. All right. Color is very nice. It's a similar color to the Penang curry that we made on the show too, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, going to add this guy on. Green peppercorns. Green peppercorns. Yeah. Stir and that around. This is a finger root. There it is. The finger root is in. Yeah. Oh. And you want to be careful not to break up the peppercorns. We're not smushing it. We want it to keep the mm -hmm. shape, right? Yeah. I'll let you take care of it. Okay. So, and next, there's a couple lamb leaves. Yep. There you go. Just smells fantastic. So, i going to have a little taste. Yep, got to right. taste it. Always be tasting. Okay, let, let you taste first. Let me taste. Okay, I can use a spoon, right off the spoon. Oh, yeah, oh. that's fantastic. Really? Yep. Oh. Wow, you just nailed it. Like, I don't think it's too sweet or undersweet. Yeah? Yeah, let's see what the chef says. It's a half hour show, honey. Hurry, yep, what, yep, what do you yep, think? Yep, what do you yep, think? Yep. Okay, That's good. Good, good. 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 Right, yeah, you know. Okay, it. let's right go. Now. Let's go. And okay. Our fish then? Yep. We can add Got the our fish. fish from earlier. There it is. Still want to be very careful with it. Gonna do it oh, like you're this. just gonna dump it in. That's what I would have done. <laughs> oh wow, you just went rogue. <laughs> okay, nice to see. Five seasons. She's loosening up a little bit, right? Looks fantastic. And then you're just mixing it to try to coat it with the sauce. Yes. Okay. Right. Oh wow. And the last, you're gonna add Thai basil. Thai basil. Oh wow. Well mm -hmm. done. And that's it. That's it. Okay. So then I guess we'll plate it and invite Henry in to give it a taste. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. Spicy stir fried fish. Henry, what do you think? It looks and smells fantastic. Can you smell the herbs? Oh, I, I, as you've been filming, I've been smelling it and it's been <laughs> growing and growing. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted. Well, let's have a taste. Here we go. Cheers. <laughs> mm. 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 How is it? Good? Oh. Yeah, you can have some too. Can I try a little bit? Mmm. Mm, wow, honey, really well done. Wow. It's fantastic. There's the finger root there. Mm. Yeah. Do you grow the uh, uh, Thai hot chili? Yes, we do. do yes, you? we have, uh, I'm guessing, over 30 different varieties of peppers. Oh, wow. Whoa. And that, uh, that's one of the varieties that we grow, yeah. So. Mm, there you go. Okay. You don't have to look so hard and come down to Eisen Garden Center. I will do it tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Henry, thank you so much for coming thank on the show. Thank you so much for having it. Oh, what a pleasure, right? Eh? Yes. Kabun ka. Kabun ka. Thank you. And thank you to you as well for joining us on Try Thai tonight. If you'd like to learn more about Thai cooking or to download Jean's recipe for spicy stir fried fish, you can visit us online at trythaitonight.com or find us on Facebook. And we'll see you next time. Kabun ka. Kabun ka.